very good morning to all of you this is divya working as assistant professor the department of ece rmk college of engineering and technology chennai in this video we are going to see a problem on digital to analog data conversion in the subject linear integrated circuits this problem is to calculate the output voltage the question is the basic step of a 9 bit dac is 10.3 millivolt what output voltage will be produced if the input is some 9 bit data is given digital data is given to us we have to calculate the analog output voltage of this dac the formula to find the output voltage of a dac is already we know the formula we have a fixed formula to calculate the output voltage let me write the formula first formula to calculate the output voltage is v not is equal to vfs into d1 2 power minus 1 plus d2 into 2 power minus 2 plus d3 into 2 power minus 3 so on plus dn into 2 power minus n this is the formula where v naught represents the output voltage vfs represents the full scale output voltage d1 d2 d3 up to dn represents the n bit digital data given to us so we know the values of d1 d2 d3 up to dn we have a n value is equal to 9 over here so we have a data from d1 to dn d9 the data is given to us but the full scale output voltage is not given to us but the data available to us is basic step of a 9 bit dac basic step means a resolution that value of resolution is given to us so resolution that is a basic step that is is equal to we have a formula vfs by 2 power n so this is equal to 10.3 millivolt that is what given to us so this implies our full scale voltage is equal to 10.3 millivolt into 2 power n so for this question n is equal to 9 so vfs is equal to 10.3 millivolt into 2 power 9 so we got the value of vfs let me directly substitute the value of vfs over there i'll be writing like output equation v naught is equal to vfs vfs means i have a value 10.3 millivolt into 2 power 9 then i have d1 2 power minus 1 d1 value is 1 1 into 2 power minus 1 plus d2 value 0 so 0 into 2 power minus 2 plus d3 value is 1 so 1 into 2 power minus 3 plus d4 value is also 1 so 1 into 2 power minus 4 d5 value 0 so 0 into 2 power minus 5 plus d6 to d9 all the four values of 1 so 1 into 2 power minus 6 plus 1 into 2 power minus 7 plus 1 into 2 power minus 8 plus the last value d9 is also 1 so 1 into 2 power minus 9 so let me multiply this 2 power 9 inside so let me rewrite the expression as 10.3 millivolt 10.3 millivolt into let me multiply this 2 power 9 inside so i'll be getting 1 into 2 power 8 plus 0 and anything becomes 0 plus 1 into 2 power minus 3 into 2 power 9 becomes 2 power 6 plus 1 into 
2 power minus 4 into 2 power 9 becomes 2 power 5 plus 1 into uh, we have a 0 over here let this be 0 and then 1 into 2 power minus 6 into 9 becomes 2 power 3 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 8 9 so becomes I will be having 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 So let me consolidate everything over here. So my V naught is equal to 10.3 millivolt into 1 into 2 power 8. 1 into 2 power 8 is 256 plus 0 let this be 0 plus 2 power 6 value is 64 plus 2 power 5 value is 32. 2 power 3 value 8, 2 power 2 value 4, 1 into 2 power 1 value 2 plus 1. So, I am getting the answer as 10.3 milliold totally multiplied by 367. When you multiply these things inside, we will be getting the answer as 3.78 volt. So, output voltage V0 is equal to 3.78 volt. So, we can easily find the output voltage even though the full scale voltage is not given to us. Full scale voltage is given in terms of basic step size which in other term we call it as resolution. Thank you all. We will meet again in the next video.